On today's video, we are discussing should you retire early or wait until full retirement? And just to be clear, we don't know, we have no idea because we are no retirement age or we don't have pension or anything like that. But we constantly get this um, kind of statement with people that we meet and also we get this question very often. So we say, hmm, that probably is a good subject to discuss and we can get people's opinion based on their age and based on what, uh, I would say, what stage in their life they are. So what do you think about that subject? Um, like you say, man, I just want to be clear for disclaimer. Like you said, I have no idea if a person should retire early or wait to full retirement because I think that's an individual decision and it's all based on a whole lot of other variables in that particular person's life. So we do get people that we've met who are close to early retirement and they would say, um, I want to move to DR, but you know, I got to wait till full retirement. And so we always would say, well, what's full, you know, cause I really, you know, it changes, mm -hmm. the, the age changes, um, you know, it used to be 59, then they move it to 62 and 67. So they just keep moving it around based on the life expectancy of um, human beings now. From what we know, early retirement now is at 62 and full retirement is at 67. That's old. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. <laughs> and what was the 70? So what is the 70? I know it's something for age of when you're 70. 70 is, um, I don't know if they call that maximum retirement. I don't, I don't know what 70 is, but you can work. I know you can work early retirement, 62. Full retirement is at 67. Mm -hmm. And then at 70, you can, um, I think that's maximum retirement, I guess. Uh, if you guys know, like I say, this is going to be a video that, we don't have a whole lot of knowledge on because we haven't really, like I said, we're not of that age. So a lot of you guys or and gals who are approaching retirement or in retirement can, you know, chime in in the comments and let us know. But uh, we always thought that uh, when people said that to us, a lot of times we'll be riding back in the car where we're going like, man, would you, would you want to wait five more years to retire just to get a, extra amount on your check you know how we used mm -hmm, to always mm -hmm. say that and it was like i, I was like i wouldn't i wouldn't <laughs> depending on depending on of the of the of the amount of money right. on and the age and your situation because everything is different for everybody yeah but we usually make that comment and say man five years yeah. or seven years it seems like to be a lot i mean for some people it's not for some people it's just a few years you work and this and that but uh for some of the people it seems like i mean that is sound like a long long time and it's uh, it's uh, it's to me everything this may know a lot of things is uh, all your situation you uh, your your uh i would say you have condition and it's a lot of things that is going to depend on of if, you, if you should wait or just uh or just go ahead and retire we were thinking about this uh, really more in depth a few days ago and we was like we're gonna do a video on this i think because i don't know if someone said it to us or we heard it uh somewhere but, and so we decided to do a little research and when i say research you know we use google and um <laughs> google, research. <laughs> google research and so i wanted to know what the retirement age was mm -hmm. and what was the average amount and for the early retirement and full retirement and i guess the maximum retirement and based on the information we received, the maximum initial amount average for early retirement was $2,700. Mm-hmm, 2700 And the full retirement was like $3,800. And the- Which uh, is at the age of 67. Which is the age of 67. And at the age of 70, if you worked at 70, then you got $4,800. That was the average. But of course, you know how this stuff works uh, in the U.S. It all based on how many years you worked. And this is what, well, let me say this. It was assuming that you started working at 22. So there's a lot of things that's in play for people to receive that amount. That's just average. So assuming you started working at the age of 22 and you had a taxable income of 168,000. So a lot of a lot of you probably and won't even you be have making a, that. Do you have work at least 10 years, right? No, no, not work to, well, oh, you have, okay, yeah, I thought that was something. Well, that's, well, you have to work at least 10 years just even to either get any type of uh, social security. 
Ah, okay. So any yeah. time of retirement, you right. at least have to work. Okay. Right. So, and one thing I want to say too is, is that before we get into that, I know this doesn't include people with pensions. So I know pensions is totally different. I don't know the rules for pensions because everybody is not, um, all, all Americans are not qualified or, yeah, I just qualified as well, qualified for pensions. It just mm -hmm. depends on the company you work for. Sometimes companies have pensions, some don't. So, like the company I work for in, in, in Alabama, they didn't have pensions. So, the pension thing is totally different. We're talking about Social Security benefits, which all Americans qualify for if they work at least 10 years. Okay. Uh, sorry. No, go ahead. I, let, me, so, but let me be clear because I, me, myself, I don't understand a lot about that, especially because, well, I was born in the United States and also I didn't work. I work for about, what, 10 years in the United States? Well, at least well, I did you, that a minimum. Get, you'll get a pension. <laughs> <laughs> at least I did a minimum. <laughs> but I still don't understand a lot. So let me ask you this. So a uh, retirement is just for people that are going to receive the social security and you say pension is for company. I understand that because here they have some type, type of pension for company too. But what about the people that are military? What do they receive? They receive retirement from the military. So if the, 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 the retirement from the military is different from, from social security. Right, right. So somebody that is a military received two, received two checks, one from the military and one for the social security? If they worked in the military from 18 to 38, where they worked 20, or they served in the military from 18 to 38, where they actually uh, did 20 years, they get a retirement for the military. If they got in, into the uh, civilian workforce from 38, to 58 or to the time they retire. Yeah, they'll get two checks. Ah, okay. Right. So if they didn't, they just received the one from the military. Right, right. Ah, okay. Right, okay, right. that's good to clarify because I was, uh, to me, when pension was one thing and in the, in, the, in, the, in the retirement was another thing, it was just two, but basically it's like three right. pretty much. It's a lot of ways to get that money over there. Ain't it? A lot of ways <laughs> get that money. <laughs> that is a lot of things. One thing that you don't, we didn't mention that also, if we're mentioning, is the life expectancy of a, a average for female and male. Yeah, so when we, when we started looking at that, we started thinking about, okay, you retire at 62, and you get $2,700, or you retire at 67, five years later, and you get $3,800, which is a difference of $1,100. We're not even gonna do the 70, man, because I don't know who would wanna work till they 70 years old. I mean, I wouldn't. But you're talking a difference between $1,100 a month retiring at uh, 62 versus retiring at 67. I'm just gonna give you my thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, my thoughts are, I understand people um, wanting to wait to uh, retirement because if you worked, you know, from 22 all the way up to just say 50, 55, you might as well work another seven years so you can get some type of payment. Um, and not not saying that you won't get a payment. You could stop working at 55 and you just wait till you're able to withdraw your Social Security. But I still will just continue to work. But if if the if that was my case, I would rather figure out a way to earn eleven hundred dollars in the next from sixty two, and they say my life expectancy is seventy nine. So which that is what like seventeen more years. I would rather I would rather figure out how to earn an extra eleven hundred dollars per month between sixty two and seventy nine, if that's my life expectancy, than to work another five years just to get that extra $1,100 because you just never know what can happen between 62 and 65. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree, but like I said before, it's all gonna depend on a lot of things. Like, this is my opinion too. I will do the same thing as you do instead of me working because I, I already, I, I think if you're already at 62 working, you gotta be tired. Already tired and wishing yeah, we old tired now. <laughs> yeah, we tired now. Can okay, imagine at sixty two? We even sixty. But even fifty. Mm, if you were sixty two, you probably wanna do other things. You wanna be if some people have grandkids, they wanna be enjoying with the grandkids, just traveling, going do other things besides working. And then wait for my five more years just to receive an extra eleven hundred. 
it seems that we are like a lot of time, especially because we was discussing something about that anything can happen. I mean, it is okay to say five years is not a long time when you're young, when you're young and vibrant, and five years just go passing by like nothing. From 20 to 25. 20, 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, right. or even 20 to 40, like, you know that you're going to be doing something during that time because you can just be at home in a couch just watching TV, even though that's what people do. But that is not what you are be doing. But when you are at 62, five years, anything can happen. And we will just <laughs> put in an example. I don't know when you want to talk about that example. But well, when I you say anything can happen, be more like you're that, talking about health-wise. Yeah, health-wise. Right. That's right. what I'm talking about. It's right. like... When you are that age, and uh, you can be just okay right now, just talking uh, like we having a conversation, and something happened the next day, or you have a heart condition, or something happened when you can even move anymore. Once I, you, like we seen so many cases, like sometimes people even uh, have a how you get Alzheimer, or those kind of things that people even can even do nothing for themselves, pretty much, mm -hmm. and that can happen in any moment. So if you're working on your life at 62, if something like that happens, you're still working. Practically, you haven't even been able to enjoy your life. Right, and the, the thing is, is that, and we know all this stuff can happen before 62, but we're just, we're talking about assuming, between. Assuming, yeah, you know, assuming, assuming that, that you're already at that age. Right, that you're at that age. And it's like, I mean, even now, sometimes I wake up with a pain in my knee sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even that old, so just imagine being that age and, the only reason that you really want to work to your 65 or 67 is because you want the money, which is understandable. But that's why you have to actually really do the math when it's time to um, start looking at whether you're ready to retire and where you're going to retire. And I can, to be honest with you, I can understand if you're staying in the United States when you're retirement, you probably gonna need every dime you, they give you. Yeah. And I can understand that. But if you're moving abroad, I think the um, the conversation has to change because the cost of living, li moving, uh, living abroad is not the same as living in the United States, especially the places where people go to retire. People are not going to Canada to retire. They're not going to the UK to retire. They're going to places where they get more bang for their bucks. So if you're chasing $1,100 because you still have the mindset are you still having this conversation with yourself? You're going to need it to take care of yourself in the U.S. Then the conversation needs to change and say, OK, well, maybe it's not worth me to chase that eleven hundred because I'm going to cut down my expenses by whatever percentage that is that you're which is really 70 percent, because basically from full retirement to um Early retirement to full retirement, it's a 70%. You get 70% of your money if you retire early. So you can look at it and say, well, I'm going to save. You're probably going to save more than 30% if you move abroad. So that right there can cancel out whatever you were expecting to make. Now, I know you're going to say, well, what about inflation over mm -hmm. the years? And inflation does happen. However, again, I would rather bet on inflation over the next, you know, 15 years of my life, if that's what it is, 15, 17 years, at the same time, figure out a way to make that or supplement that money that I'm missing. Then to wait five years to do 67 or even work to 70. We've seen people that say they're going to work to 70. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some mm -hmm. people say mm -hmm. that. But it's, it's all, I think, again, it's all depend. <laughs> it's all depend because it, it depends on how you want to make that money up. Some people, like probably like you think or like other people think, they say, okay, I'm going to find a way where I'm sitting from my, my, my house or traveling. Can I make that type of money? But some people are not capable to do that. Mm -hmm. Just to put something to work to make that type of money. That's some true. other people know just to work. And if they had to supplement is if they stop working and they have to supplement that money with something else, the other thing they want to think and do is work again, doing something else. So that is going to depend on what type of, the what type of uh, person or people are looking to retire early. Right. That, that, that makes sense. That's a good point because, you know, when you get that age at 62, 67, you're not really looking to, you know, reinvent or, or invent something, not reinvent, but invent something or 
trying to get into any type of business or even start a business because I was also going to say is, is that even when we moved over here, the one the conversation that we had that I always say is that, you know, we had the twenty five hundred dollars a month in our our um, our mindset and our conversation that we need to make that. However, once we got to that threshold, we packed our bags and we left and it wasn't like, oh, man, uh, we need to make more than that. Uh, before we leave it was that we need to make that but with the idea that we were going to make more than that Once we got here, you know what I'm saying that, that we were going to continue to work and continue to work to increase our income So it wasn't like hey, we're going to get this 2500 and that's all we need and that's all we're going to uh, Need while we're there. We knew we were going to need more than that But we wanted we wanted to make that move first and then based on what you just said like We knew that we weren't going to sit around and not do nothing. We knew that we were going to hit the ground running and figure out a way to make more money, which we've done. Like $2,500 is not even a, you know, even a threshold in terms of the income now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yes. And that's what it is. I think the idea of, uh, I said, the idea of plan should be that if you are before your retirement age, already thinking, okay, I'm going to retire early because I'm not going to be waiting until 67, but I need to be thinking a way how to, uh, investment that I can be making money on. When I retire early and go somewhere, I will be finding a way how to make some other income that can come to me. But what I would say is that people who have uh, health issues, I think it's um, something that they should really consider because you don't want to continue to bang your body up and having to do, um, have this stressful or this um, continuous cycle of working if you can retire and you can make it make sense that you can live off the money that you have. Like I say, man, we're not trying to tell people that they should or they shouldn't because it's it's just a it's a personal decision. But like I say, we always hear people say that and sometimes we wonder and we're just saying it from our man, because both of us just said, no, we, we at 62, we taking our money and we, we taking our ball and we going home. You know what I'm saying? But that's what we would do. And, but other people may see it a little different based on the type of lifestyle they want to live. But I just, I think that it's a conversation worth having because I know in America, the only thing we think about is chasing the money, chasing the money, chasing the money. But we don't look at the fact that what it's doing to our health, what it's doing to our mental, you know, what it's doing to our life expectancy, where it's like, is that what it's really all about? Is it really about chasing the money or is it really about some peace in your life, a little happiness, a little freedom? And for me, it's the latter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it what? The latter. How people say is they rather like the latter or something like that? It's, it's, they say it's the former or the latter. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Man, trying to get us sophisticated on this English over here, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> try, try to have me learning some new vocabulary. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And you know the bad thing about it, about this whole thing, is that the age of the retirement age is going to continue to increase. I think now they're trying to push it to uh, seventy, if I'm not mistaken. Seventy. I think they're trying to push the full retirement age to seventy now. That's backwards. I think it should be the other <laughs> way around because now I think people are no lasting longer than before. I think people used to, uh, how is that? That's what you say, last live, longer. Live, live longer. Live longer, yeah. Like people used to live longer. Now people is like is, 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 is dying faster just because of uh, the condition that we are living now. And um, but the you stress know that, and all that, that's killing people. But you know that ain't the reason why they're doing that. The they're doing it because they don't want to pay people. Th that's exactly. The reason why they're pushing it back is because they see people living longer and they're even saying that Social Security is going to go bankrupt at some point where they're going to they're going to not have enough money to pay Social Security. Even when, I think even when I, I'm, a, I'm even when it's time for me to withdraw it, that it won't even be available. Really? So people are living longer now? I thought that people was living longer before. No, no, people are living. No, people are living longer before. Not in America. You know what I, I mean? I mean, we, I've seen you know people over in Japan living to 110 and places like that. But in America, uh, people are living are living longer now. And early, like my my grandma, she died. I think she was 55. 
Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. You know, she, you know, she died when she was 55, and I mean, she even looked old. You know. Um, no, well, that that I I can remember. Know. People used to look, I mean, very old at early age before, more than now. And now they're 55. I mean, mm -hmm. it's still young. I think 62 is young. I think 60. You know, your early 60s is young. And that's why I say you ought to people ought to really consider what they want to do with their life at that time if they're able to withdraw and take money out of their social security and just start living their life while they're young because if you had the opportunity to take money at 62 and you get $2,700 a month, then wait till you're 70 and get $4,800 a month, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing at 70 with that $4,800 that you can do with the $2,700 at 62. Yeah, because the difference of year is yeah. about eight years. In eight years, you can do a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking too that uh, the older you get, the faster you start to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, even though I know, you know, not to get political, but we can all see how Joe Biden, even when he was running campaign in the first year when he got elected in 2020, if you listen, just listen to a speech and him talk in 2019 and 2020 versus you know, four years later, he has deteriorated a, bad. A lot, yeah. A lot. And like I said, this has nothing to do, it's not political, so we don't need the political stuff. We're just using this as an example. And even though we know 62 and 77 is two different things, but all we're saying is the older you get, you deteriorate faster. Mm -hmm. Depending on your health condition, right. you can, I mean, thinking, can how you say, aggressively uh, yeah. Progress, I guess, right. because you sometimes you can have a condition that okay, you are able to control, but mm -hmm. then when you start getting uh, older and older, this thing can just deteriorate. So, guys, yes, we just put this uh, subject as an ex as a, not an example, but it's something to talk about because that's something that we hear often, and we don't know, we don't know, we don't know anything about this. We just, it was something that we want to just talk about it because we hear it often, like I said, and we wanna don't hear it for us because we don't know. I wanna hear it for. You. So you let us know, will you retire at 62? Will you wait until 67? Or will you wait until 70 just to receive the full, full, full 4,800? Hey, if you wait to hey. 70, anybody saying they're going to wait to 70, y'all need to come talk to me. <laughs> so, you better not be waiting so, to 70. <laughs> let us know in the comment section below. And this is all what we have right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share. And we will see you in our next one. Bye. Peace.